guys welcome back to my channel um, today's recipe is going to be very quick and I'm going to be making suya Nigerian suya or it's so similar to kebab um, but suya is just basically beef I mean you can have chicken suya beef suya um, pretty much anything suya uh, the, the main ingredient is the suya spice Suya spice. Um, and today I'm going to be using beef. So I'm making beef suya. And it's just going to be pretty quick. Pretty quick. It's typically grilled on a charcoal, well, grilled on a charcoal grill. But I'm going to be making mine in the oven. It's very cold outside. Can't make anything outside. So we're going to do the oven style today. So let's get straight to it. I have fresh beef. Um, washed and damped, you know, dried uh, with a paper towel so it's damp, um, not wet. So I'm going to cut it up in thin slices and uh, let's go through the quick ingredients. You need beef, you need oil, oil, I'm using canola oil, um, you need a bowl, a small bowl, you need a baster whatever you have to polish um, the oil on your meat uh, you need bouillon cube um, let me pull that out pretty quick you need bouillon cube um, and then of course you need the suya spice suya spice you need some skewers um, I didn't I don't have actual skewer because I just decided to make this on the fly so what I have here I have Chinese chopsticks so I'm just going to use it um, it can I think it can serve the same purpose but I have chopsticks but you need skewers or long picks, two picks something like that so I'm using Chinese chopsticks and of course an oven so let's get right into it and um, just follow along okay guys okay so we've cut up um, into thin slices thin layers half of the meat you, you saw me cut up the rest I'm gonna put in the refrigerator for a different meal so this is all we need guys this is all we need so then next we're going to get our skewers and we're going to begin
have our bullion cube in here. And then we're going to pour canola oil just to dissolve it. And then we're going to stir. I mean, ideally, it's good to make your suya on charcoal grill because of that smoky flavor. Um, but in the absence of the charcoal grill, you can use your oven as well. need that later so right now we need a plate let's move the, all of this over we need a plate and that's fine this is disposable plate so we can put it on the same um, so here's our suya pepper Not too much. That's all we need. Allow it to soak in and then we'll put it on our plate. Pick up another one.
30 minutes in the fridge. into the fridge for about let's leave it for uh, about 30 minutes within that 30 minutes we're going to get the oven ready preheat the oven and um, this would be good to go okay see you soon 30 minutes later guys so I have a grill grill slates grill slab if you check I have a review a video where I reviewed this um, I don't know if it's grill. What is it called? Anyway, cast iron grill. So I have this. You can just use any oven. You can use this or use any other type of, um, I guess, platform you, you normally use to grill things in the oven. Um, or you can just use a baking um, pan. So, and I'm going to use this. Um, so here it is out from the refrigerator 30 minutes later it is good to go let's arrange it okay we're all set facing me facing towards me so I can easily flip over baste with oil and you know that's about it okay we're gonna bake for 360 degrees um, for about uh, 20 20 yeah about 20 minutes and let's see how that goes see you soon guys we are back in the meantime while we, we are waiting for our suya to get you know done we have about maybe 15 minutes left um let's make some tea we're in the mood for tea and a little story behind this guys <laughs> i love drinking tea well not all the time but sometimes i love drinking tea in this my is it japanese or chinese let me know um, Japanese or Chinese style uh, teapot it keeps your tea hot it's nice and stylish and smallish you know you can have enough tea in here and then pour in the little cup and drink that way your tea doesn't get cold on you you can finish you know the one you have in the cup and then pour more you know hot tea and it's nice and stylish for the dining table or center table um, I'm going to be having it with honey I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, I'm gonna be having it with honey. Um, and peach. Is it backwards, guys? It's upside down, probably. So peach, 
Let's shift this back. Peach green tea. If I turn it upside down, will it be the right way for you guys? <laughs> anyway, we're going to be having peach green tea and it's Lipton. And of course, I'm going to throw in some pieces of ginger. Okay, so what we're going to do is open up our teapot. Get some slices of ginger going. Oh, and a little story about this kettle, guys. Um, I remember way back in grad school, you know, during one of our uh, breaks or holidays, uh, some friends and I drove out to Vegas. That was my first time in Vegas. Uh, it was fun. And uh, we, in, while in Vegas, we had this nighttime outing. We went to, you know, different places, including... A nice Japanese restaurant and they served us tea in this kettle theirs was a uh, black though they serves, served us tea in this kettle and peach tea actually and I fell in love with the kettle the presentation was awesome and I'm talking about years ago the presentation was awesome and I could not help myself I said you know what I'm going to look for this but fortunately on my birthday someone <laughs> someone gave me um, ordered I think they ordered this somewhere I'll find out and let you know in the comment box below but ordered it and gave it to me on my birthday I was like oh my gosh you know what guys <laughs> you don't you never cease to amaze me so anyway I'm going to throw in pieces of ginger Oops, let's throw that one away. See, so pieces of ginger, and we should be good. And then we're going to add our tea bags. We're adding two. And again, it's peach tea. So we have one. Let me put the tea bag sign on your side. And we have another one. Yep. Then we're going to put it in our honey. Let me open the honey jar or honey container. Mmm. Honey tastes good. Then let's put pour honey in. Okay, about two to three tablespoons of honey and let's get some water just about to the brim and we are going to stir just a little bit to get the honey dissolved in there and we're going to trap the heat Clear our area. Oh, that's beautiful, guys. I see a nice shot. Okay. Typically, I'll, I'll wait um, about 15 minutes. No, not 15 minutes, guys. About five minutes. Three to five minutes, and then we can have some. See, it even has a stand, and it's cast iron. It's heavy, not too heavy, but heavy enough to know that this thing will last for as long as you keep it. Um. So, yep, we have our cup. We're going to pour. Ooh, it's nice and hot. 
and keep the rest. Cheers, guys. Let's check on our suya. Just like the regular charcoal suya, charcoal grilled suya. Look at that. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave it on a stick. But just put a little bit of pepper on the side. And pepper on just a few. Look at that. On the side. And then. We're going to cut some onions up.
until my next video stay blessed bye toodles Oh my god, this is tasty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my. Look at that. With the onions. I have to use both hands at this point. <laughs>